Okay, actually, fuck it, man. We can just talk about offseason now. This queue is lasting so long. What do you guys want to know about my my incredible offseason adventures? I'm just going to set it straight, though, that I am most likely not going to play. There's a very low chance. Like, don't get your hopes up at all. Like, the overall majority of teams I wouldn't even consider playing for because they're so shit. Like, I only want to play on a team that's actually set their sights on going to Worlds, winning LCS. It feels like half the teams in LCS are just fine to make it their goal to like make it to playoffs or um you know it would be like a it would be like a stretch for them to make worlds like it would be like such an incredible overachievement it because you know part of it is just that it's like budget it's the management it's the it's like the team culture it just doesn't every org is going to outwardly say that they care about winning but like doing what it takes to win is another story why would i consider playing uh well it's not really my choice to stop playing i actually Never wanted to end my fucking career at going 0-6 at Worlds. The only reason why I stopped playing is because uh, I got fucked by TSM. That's basically it. I thought I was going to play for them. I thought we were going to get Sword Art. Then they they said, like, actually, it's going to be, like, Palette and Palafox. And I was like, holy shit, this roster sounds bad. Ran uh, Red Reggie asked me if I was so committed. I was like, <coughs> no. And so he just said, okay, well, I need, I need like, to make a decision right now for committed AD carry. So they went with Lost and signed him. And then I was like, in a position where I'm either, there's just not, it's so late in the off season, there's not many options. With all their options was at that point to like go to EG, FlyQuest. Yeah, I mean, these these teams, guys, it's not, it's not where you go to find success. That's it. It's it's not, you're not going to go there and like have incredible success with with the way that, it's not, not last year. Sounds like you're being indecisive, should have just played. I don't think I should play in an environment that is not where everyone's goals are not aligned that's what i'm looking for in this offseason right like i want to join a team where everyone has the same goal the same vision the same expectations if you don't it's it's never going to work like you want to feel like everyone's in the same boat headed in the same direction and have a lot of trust have a lot of mutual respect for your team honestly i fucking hate tsm because mostly because of andy I actually remember this now. Yeah, Sword Art called me afterwards and said, "I'm coming to TSM. Are you sure?" You, like, like he he still wanted to play with me. I called Andy and told him, "Yeah, Sword Art still wants to play with me, and I would love to, you know, continue to play for the org." And Andy literally said no because he's got too much of an ego. It's fucking so cringe. If I was on TSM last season split, there's no doubt in my mind we would have made worlds. Actually, I talked to Sword Art after. No, wait, I talked to him after spring, I think. I'm trying to remember this. I went and got hot pot with Sword Art, and I think it was between spring and summer split. It was around MSI. And the dude was literally saying that if me and Bjergsen were still playing, we would have 100% won. It was like, just unbelievable decisions. I don't know. Every split I'm on TSM, we win and still like get treated like that. It's just disgusting. It would be a personal pleasure of mine to never to see TSM never win anything again. Because of how, how shitty they treated the people who who brought them everything. I don't even need to like pray for it. They're, they're just gonna make that happen themselves. Uh, Peter. What? We're trying to be honest here. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't want to make Lost feel... Or I didn't want to make him feel like shit. He was playing. No, nothing he did wrong. He's just a kid. He got put into a really tough situation. I'm not gonna fucking go out and tell Sword Art that- or tell the world that Sword Art would rather play with me, like, the middle of their fucking season. That's just disgusting behavior. But they're not playing together anymore. Just want to explain why, uh, why I think that they are rolling quite hard the offseason. Yeah, I mean, I'm on TSM. We're in a mutually beneficial situation where I make them money and they make me money being on their network. I don't have to like them to have a, you know, a mutually beneficial situation. But yeah, that, that kind of explains why I want to come back. It was never my choice to fucking retire in the first place. I never wanted to stop playing. It just feels bad to bitch about, oh, I got fucked all the time. Just make do with whatever situation you're in. I mean, I would go, I would go to whatever org has the right mindset to win. Basically an org who, you know, values its players. I definitely felt that way on TL. I felt happy to play for TL because I I like Steve. I like, yeah, well, my personal experience on TL was basically al almost entirely positive. Like I appreciate the respect that at least I was 
I experienced um, Steve give the players and you know he was hard on us but it felt I don't know it just felt really um, enjoyable.